Okay, our next and last talk before the lightning talk block is common GitOps for NixOS machines. Let's welcome Leo. Hello, uh, so I'm Liwo, Nix contributor since several years now, and I'm here to talk about uh, Comin, so GitOps for NixOS machine. Um, I will start by apologize because there is now one more deployment tool in our NixOS ecosystem, so sorry about this. Uh, first of all, a few words about what GitOps is. Uh, there is no Wikipedia pages. I did not find any formal definition. But I found this website, gitops.tech. Um, they propose a definition, and I will translate it in NixOS term. So the core idea of GitOps is having a Git repository that contains all configuration, a NixOS configuration file for all NixOS machines, and an automated process that ensures that all these NixOS configuration files are deployed on, uh, NixOS, on, uh, on your NixOS machine. I also note uh, this kind of punchline. Someone is saying GitOps is a version CI CD on top of declarative infrastructure. And they said, stop scripting and start shipping. How did I come to GitOps? Of course, with a shell script. Uh, so five years ago, with some friend, we deployed the NixOS uh, server to host the Nextcloud instance. And it was running, and then we wanted to have something to automatically deploy our change to this instant, to this NixOS server. And we did, not, uh, we did not want to rely on CI, CD, and stuff like this because, of, because we wanted to be autonom, autonomous. So we started to write a shell script that would be executed every five minutes. And what this, what this shell script is doing is it check out new commit from a repository, verify, it, it verifies git uh, commit signature, and run NixOS rebuild switch if everything is okay for, for if, if everything is okay. From the user point of view, to deploy a change, uh, a user has just to push a commit to the main branch, and that's all. Of course, there is a review process and stuff like this, but... Um. As the advantages is so autonomy, we don't have any dependency uh, to a forge. And also simplicity, it's easy to set up, especially because you, you don't have any deployment secrets. This has been working really well for several years. And then I started to think if I could use this paradigm for all my machines, including laptops. But on my laptops, uh, I don't want to have to wait for five minutes. Uh, I don't want to have to push to master to test uh, a change. And this is why I started to work on Comin. So Comin is a NixOS deployment tool operating in pool mode. So it pulls the configuration file and apply it. It's pretty similar to the shell script I described it, uh, before. Uh, it's currently hosted on GitHub. I started it <coughs> two years ago. And please note that the, v, the V1 has not been released yet, uh, but I'm using it since more than a year on six or seven of my own, uh, own machine. So about uh, the common feature, um, the first, uh, the first uh, big, big, big differences between common and the shell script is common is able to, um, to check out code from several branches, especially for, for two branches, two different kinds of branches. Um, it can check out commits from the main branch. In this case, only fast forward is allowed. This means a user cannot push forth commit to, the, to, to this branch. Um, when commit check out a commit from the main branch, then it will run a NixOS rebuild switch. If you want to test a change, uh, you can push your commit to a testing branch, and this testing branch has to be on top of the main branch. And in this case, NixOS rebuild, uh, sorry, come in, will run a NixOS rebuild test. Uh, this allow you if, your, yeah, if this, uh, this configuration is failing, uh, you can still reboot your, your machine, and then you will go back on the previous uh, version. It's also important to note that it's, uh, it's possible to push, forward to, to push forth to the testing branch. Uh, Another, another, um, another feature is um, Comin is able to pull from multiple Git remotes. 
The first objective was to avoid a single point of failure. If one repository, if, sorry, if one repository is not responding anymore, then Comin can uh, fall back to another one. And there is a nice side effect: is that you can you can declare a local remote on your local file system, and in this case, Comin is able to check out commit every every two seconds uh, because it's really cheap to, to 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 run a git checkout on your local file system. Uh, so this allows to to have fast iteration uh, yeah, because you just have to look at, to commit locally and then come in come in will uh, check out this commit. Some other feature is uh, come in support machine machine migration. Uh, suppose you want to migrate an existing configuration from one machine to another machine, uh, then come in is able to do this with uh, because it, it will check out sorry it will check the machine ID before. Uh, applying the configuration file before applying the configuration, sorry. Um, and there is more detail about this in the project uh, readme. It also exposes Prometheus metrics. It manages system profiles for you. Basically, currently, it, uh, it will keep the 10 last deployed uh, generation and remove, all GC and, yeah, and remove the GC root for older generation. Uh, this allows you to to run an automatic garbage uh, an, an automatic garbage collector and preserve your your Nix store, especially on your servers. And finally, there is a common status command, and this command basically uh, provides you some uh, some information about uh, the commit which is deployed, uh, when the last check occurred, um, and yeah, such such kind of uh, internal commit information. There are a lot of planned features. Uh, so the first one is I, I, I would like to add the git, uh, git commit signature checks as it is done by uh, the shell script. Some users are also asking for non-flake support. Mm, currently, Comin is able to detect if a reboot is required, but it will not do anything. And it would be nice if Comin, uh, if you could configure Comin to, to let it uh, reboot the machine if it is, uh, if it is required. Uh, for instance, when your kernel uh, is uh, when when you deploy a new kernel, um, when the deployment fails, currently come in just do anything, and it would be nice to try to retry the deployment one more time because sometimes the second time it can it can work. So, <laughs> uh, and then there is two other commands that could be interesting. The first is a come in pause to stop deployments. For instance, now I would like to be able to run commit pause in order to avoid the deployment during my uh, my my, uh, my talk. And another one is the commit fetch to manually fetch a remote, and this could be interesting on a server. Suppose you want to test a change. Currently, I have to wait for one minute, something like this, to get the, the to to wait for the next next uh, checkout. And if I could run commit fetch to immediately uh, fetch the, the the remote, it would be it would be really nice. And I also started to work on uh, integrating webhooks to let a forge triggering uh, uh, yeah, a, a remote fetch. Um, uh, another last point is I'm also experimenting and thinking about a kind of centralized uh, web UI to, to see the status of all my machine. And uh, there are also some nice features that could come with this uh, global, uh, global view, but it's uh, out of the out of the scope of this uh, presentation. So as a conclusion, uh, now one thing, one, one really nice property is that I'm sure that all my own machines are always on top of the main branch. And this is something that uh, I did not have with uh, the previous uh, tools that, uh, that I um, was using. Um, it's really easy to deploy a change on one machine or to all of my machine. Basically, I just have to write the change, git commit, and git push, uh, git push and that's all. Uh, I have to confess it's fun to write, and that's also a good reason. And the drawback is, um, yeah, it's, try, it's, it's slower to try a change. Uh, so because you have to commit, uh, you have to push, uh, you have to wait for, for, for the polar. But this is something I'm trying to, or I'm continuing to address with uh, the, the, the planet feature. Um, yeah, um, 
Yeah, by the way, uh, I'm still using uh, the shell script uh, on my uh, on our own uh, on our community server, and I would like to replace it by uh, coming in the, in the next future. Uh, thanks for your attention, and feel free to ask any question. Any questions? Um, thanks for the talk. So if I push the change to the server and then don't want to f wait five minutes and then log into the server and, uh, uh, I mean, push the change to the Git repo and then log into the server and do a rebuild switch myself, what does Comin uh, do? Uh, is there any, you know, if it sees the server is already rebuilt switching, um, how does it handle it? No, Comin will not, uh, currently Comin will not detect it. Uh, so you you will have to wait. Uh, so if you push another change to to the to the repository, uh, yeah, then come in come, <coughs> come in five five minutes later. Come in will check out the, repo the the repository and run the switch to the switch to configuration. Okay. And this is actually what, what you are a bit call, you, are, you you are a bit talking about reconciliation, and this is something that some GitOps tool are trying to address. Detecting if there is a change on the in on the system, trying to reapply the configuration, and, but currently Comin is not doing anything regarding uh, this uh, topic. Uh, one more uh, question: um, <coughs> During the development, uh, have you seen any similar tools doing the same? And what was their what were their drawbacks in, in comparison? Yeah, to the, yours? The, there is one tool which is uh, pretty similar in the in the NixOS um, uh, module list which is called, um, I think it's auto-upgrade. Um, basically, they are also doing, uh, they are polling, uh, now, now I think they are able to poll a, a flake, but uh, before they were, I think every day, uh, they were, um, uh, I, I don't even remember how we use channel, but uh, they were upgrading the channel and, uh, and switching to, to a configuration, to, to, the, yeah, to the new configuration. But it's not, it's not exactly the same because here you are pulling the wall configuration uh, and you, you also have testing branch and stuff like this. Thank you. Another question, sorry I was late before. <laughs> no problem. Um, awesome talk, awesome tool. Um, my you. question would be like, what is the, if I understood correctly, common would run on the machine that is needing uh, the upgrade and stuff like that. What yeah. is like the setup process for me to, like I have five machines, what would my steps be to get common running? Yes, so I can show you in the, in the, no, it's not so good screen. Is it better? <laughs> Inception. So let's do it like this. So basically, you have to to do to write this con this this thing in your configuration, and what you are saying, you enable the common service, and then here you have to declare a remote by using a name, a URL, and by default, common will uh, use a NixOS configuration that has the same name that your host name. So this is what you if you yeah you you yeah you you add this in the, your configuration, and then it will do uh, everything uh, under the hood. And then there is much more configuration because I did not talk about it, but it supports um, uh, aut uh, authentication to Git repository because some, maybe you don't want to make your configuration public. Um, so, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Another question? So a double question, if I may. Uh, my neighbor here asked about uh, poll-based tools. Uh, the only other one I've heard of is called Bento, I think. Have you heard of it? And do you have a comparison? Yeah, um, I heard about it, but I prefer to not talk about it. I'm not sure. I think, I mean, I'm really not sure. I think Bento is taking um, a, a pre-built uh, stuff. 
Uh, I don't think Bento is building uh, the configuration on the machine uh, itself. Could and be, I I'm think Bento, you also need a, S, uh, a FTP server or something like this. Um, but yeah, I'm not. Uh, I never used it. Um, right. And there is a lot of NixOS deployment tool. It's, uh, it's pretty difficult <laughs> to know uh, what they are doing. Yeah, and the second question is why haven't you replaced it, uh, replaced your bare script with Comin just yet? Did you just not uh, get around to it, or is something no, because, no, because uh, because uh, Git signature are not yet supported. Um, if the if the forge is uh, corrupted, then you can an, an attacker could uh, inject uh, what he wants in the in the server, and it's why we it's why we did not it, we did not do it yet. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, let's thank our speaker again.